All right, and we are live. Good evening po sa inyo lahat mga kaguro. And of course, welcome back to Guru Pinoy. Hello sa lahat ng members ng ating Team Bruner. Again, the members of Team Bruner are our babies for Let March 2023. Of course, this is under the new TOS. So again, we still have a few slots left for our Section B. If you'd still want to become a member of Team Bruners to, to watch our full-length video, and of course, to download all the files that we have there, magpa-member na po kayo sa Team Bruner, just send a message through our Facebook page. If you are watching us on Facebook right now, just send a message po. If you are watching us on YouTube, then just go to Facebook and um, uh, search for our Facebook page. That's Guru Pinoy. And of course, send a message through our Facebook page. Now, uh, we also have our major ship. No? So again, our major ship... Um, review that are available would be your Filipino, MAPE, Social Science, TLE, and AFA. Then, of course, you also have English, Math, and Science. Now, this weekend, magsisimula na po tayo ng ating discussion of your diagnostic test sa lahat ng ating mga major ship. So, again, if you are still not a member of any of our major ship classes, magpa-member na po kayo, no? Filipino, MAPE, Social Science, TLE, TLE, AFA, they all meet every Saturdays while English Math Science would meet on Sundays. Okay, so again, on November 19th, that will be on Saturday, we are going to have our first live discussion, discussion one for our diagnostic test. And of course, uh, uh, Sunday naman po, November 20th, that's discussion one for our Sunday schedule, still part of your diagnostic test. Okay, so again, for the specific instructions, just visit your majorship groups. Uh, we do our classes on the weekends for our majorship. Meron din po tayong CSE, no? Civil Service, that's free on our Facebook page, also on our YouTube channel that happens every Saturday for math and Sunday din po for our English. All right, now tonight's discussion is centered on professional education. Please do like, love, share our videos, start a watch party, tag your friends. If you are watching us on Facebook, pwede, pwede po kayo mag-send and stars. If you are watching us naman on YouTube, send us our your super chat. Super stickers naman po dyan sa ating YouTube channel. Now, before we start with anything else, of course, let's all have our opening prayer. So, sama niyo po ako, mga kaguro. Dear Lord, I come to you to ask for your guidance and direction in this study session. I ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with strength, creativity, and understanding to get through my studies without difficulty or sin. Help me hold my focus and attention. Help me to retain all that I learn. Please make my mind sharp and keep distractions at bay. If any part of my studying is weak or lacking in some way, let it be revealed so that I may correct it. Thank you for this opportunity to learn. Amen. All right, now once again, this is Prof. Ed. Tonight, of course, is November 16th. Now, so professional education, but I have 30 items that are all, of course, available for all the members of our team, Bruner. And of course, your PDF file is going to be posted right after our discussion. Good evening, po sa lahat. Now, again, if you are still not a member of Team Bruner, magpa member na po, send a message to our Facebook page. Kano din po sa ating mga major ship. Kung gusto niyo po mag join sa ating major ship, again, discussion is going to be this Saturday. Saturday na for discussion one and Sunday naman sa ating um, English, math, and um, yung isa pa nating um, major na nakalimutan ko kung alin. But uh, three of those majorships, uh, general science pala, Sundays. Now the rest of them would meet on Saturday. So discussion one is going to be on um, Saturday and Sunday of this weekend. So humabol po kayo sa ating majorship. At of course, we still have our slots sa ating namang Team Bruner Section B. So again, just send a message to our Facebook page. But then again, please do not forget to like and share this video. Pakishare na po ng ating video para mas marami po tayong ma-reach. No? Pakishare ng ating video. Start a watch party. Maraming maraming salamat for all those who've already started a watch party. And of course, tag your friends. Again, please do like, love, and share this video. We start with question number one. Okay, number one. 
teacher Ruiz Glenn gave a chapter test in terms of difficulty index in which competency did his students find the greatest difficulty? Is it letter A, 0 0.15, letter B, 0 0.51, letter C, 1.0, or letter D, 0 0.33? What is our choice? Sir Adam says letter C. Okay, letter C for number one. Letter C then, sabi ni Facebook user. Okay, number one, sabi ni Sir Melanio Trumata, letter A. Okay, Sir Marvin Perez says, letter C. Ma'am Juliet Tulabing, letter A. Okay, aling kaya ang tumpak, no? So may A at may C. Sino kaya yung tama? Mm-hmm. Okay, I see a lot of letter A's right now sa ating chat box. Okay, may ilan pa rin letter C. Now, again, going back to our question here, you have a teacher who gave a chapter test. And sabi dito, in terms of difficulty index, so difficulty index yung ating pinag-uusapan, in which competency did his students find the greatest difficulty saan pinakadahirapan yung kanyang estudyante, no? napakahirap. And so the correct choice here Nakita na, no? narol ko kasi yung aking mouse, no? It should be 0 0.15, that would be letter A. Again, as I've mentioned, kapag ka ito po ay given in decimal, po pwede nyo po ito at medyo nahihirapan kayo mag-interpret using your decimal, no? Pwede nyo pong i-change siya sa rate, no? Sa rating natin or um, in your percentage form, no? So percentage, what you do is you simply move the decimal point two times to the, to the right and of course put your percentage sign. No? So if you do that, your 0 0.15 here would be 15%. No? Your letter B is 51%. That's the the what what the students got on the difficulty index. Niya. Your one, if you try to move this two times to the right, that would be 100%. So that means everybody got it right. So this is a very easy item. 0 0.33 is going to become 33%. Okay? And so, yung tinatanong po, I found the greatest difficulty. Pinaka nahirapan yung mga isudyante. And so, 0 0.15, 15% lamang yung nakakuha ng tumpak na choice. That would be letter A for question number one. Okay? I hope klaro na kung bakit letter A yung ating sagot. Para sa next natin makita itong question na ito, ay wala na tayong confusion. Okay? So, letter A... For question number one, so mga naligwak yung uh, iba kanina, no? medyo na confused siguro kung ano yung ating hinahanap. All right, we move on with question number two. If teacher gets the difference between the highest score and the lowest score, he will obtain the blank. Letter A, index of difficulty. Letter B, range. Letter C, standard deviation. Or letter D, the mean. Okay, what's our choice number two? Mm-hmm. Ayan, natuto si Sir Adam. Okay, feeling daw niya hindi na siya magkakamali next time. All right, letter B for question number two. I see a lot of letter Bs. Sama-sama sa letter B and letter B is tumpak. Okay, so range is what we are looking for. Remember that you have different measures in your assessment of learning. No? You have what you call your uh, measures of central tendency, your mean, your median, and your mode. Now, when you say the mean here, this is the average. No? Kasama siya sa, sa measures of central tendency. Kung gaano ka lalapit yung mga scores, kung gaano ka clumped yung scores ng inyong isudyante. So mean is the average then you have the median which is the middle most score and you also have the mode no the most frequently appearing score meron po tayong video na ng uh, assessment of learning and so paki note po diyan sa inyong review notebook no watch gurong pinoy's assessment assessment of learning. Now, you also have what you call measures of uh, variability or measures of dispersion. Okay? So, ito naman ay kung gaano ka spread apart yung scores ng inyong isudyante. No? So, one of these measurements would be your standard deviation. Medyo complicated yung formula niya. Hindi ko na sinama dito. You also have your quartile, no? yung when you divide 100 by... Um, 
by four and you have your quarter quartal one quarter two quartal three and quartal four no so makikita mo yung pagkakaiba ng scores makikita mo kung gaano ka spread apart yung scores you also have of course the range yung range ito yung pinaka simple no na measure of of uh, variability because you simply get the difference between your highest score and your lowest score hence that is the answer for this item index of difficulty we've talked about this a while ago you have the different uh decimals and different values and from those values you'd know kung saan mas nahirapan yung ating estudyante. Okay? So letter B, the range for question number 2. Hello po sa lahat ng ating mga uh, first timers ngayong gabi. Good evening and diretso po sa ating kusina. Alright, number 3. Median is the 50th percentile as Q3 is to blank. Letter A, 25th percentile. Letter B, 75th percentile. Letter C, 70th percentile. Or letter D, 45th percentile. What is our choice for question number three? Okay, number three, what is our choice? Pakilagay po sa ating comment box para mas interactive tayo, no? at mas maging permanent yung ating learning. And again, kapag ka na ligwak, okay lang po yan. Move on ka agad. Sabihin, ligwak, yeah, hey. That means I have learned. That means sa next time na makita ko yung item na ito, tama na ang aking magiging choice. Okay, number three, I see a lot of letter Bs and that is actually right. Na? So, tumpak po yung letter B. 50th percentile would be your median. That's the middlemost score. So, 50th percentile siya. Yung Q3 mo, again, when you say quartile, as I mentioned a while ago, you divide 100. No? So, you divide 100 into 4. No? You divide it by 4. You have Q1, which is 25th percentile. So, the first quarter is 25th percentile. Q2 would be your um, your 50th percentile. That's the median, middlemost score. Then, uh, then you have your Q3, which is going to be 75th percentile as shown by our uh, choice here. And of course, Q4 would be 100. Okay, so simply stated that would just be 100 divided by 4. No? So, the first quarter is 25. Then, second quarter is 50. Uh, you have the third quarter, which is 75, and of course, um, your Q4 is 100. Okay, so letter B, 75th percentile for question number three. Liguak, yeah, hey, sabi ni Ma'am Charlotte Miliendez. Okay, tama po yung attitude na yan. So very good. All right, number four, given two sets of data, you have set A and set B. Which statement best describes both sets of data? Is it letter A, the scores of set B is more spread out than the scores of set A? Letter B, the range of set B is 15. Letter C, the scores of set A is more spread out than the scores of set B. So essentially, your C and A are opposites. Okay, then you have letter D, the range of set A is 14. What is our choice for number four? Okay, I see A, D, C, B. Okay, A, B, C, D, lahat ay represented. Sino kaya ang tumpa? Okay, or sino naman kaya yung uh, sisigaw ng awit, ang sakit, ligwak? Okay, D. All right, now let's take a look at your sets. Now, so you have set A and set B. Now, kung inyong napapansin, makinig po, yung inyong data dito na naka-arrange siya from lowest until highest. Okay, so set B mo, ganun din, of lowest to highest. All right, so sabi dito ng letter A mo, the scores of set B is more spread out than the scores of set A. Now, how will you know whether the scores are more spread out or not? No? So sabi natin kanina, the range is the simplest type of measure of, of uh, variability. So again, for you to take the range, you simply subtract 6, which is the lowest uh, score, from the highest score, which is 20, okay? So that means ang range po ng inyong set A is 14. Now, that's 20 minus 6. The range of set A is 14. Now, for your letter B, that would be 20 minus 4. Hence, the range of set B 
is 16. Okay? So, that means yung letter B mo, ay, liwak na. The range of set B is, 50, is, is 15, no? Dapat 16 siya. 20 minus 4, that's 16. Okay? So, liwak na itong letter B mo. Now, yung letter D, sabi niya, the range of set A is 14. 20 minus 6 equals 14. Tama din naman yung inyong letter D. Kaya lang, yung problema, sabi dito, which statement best describes both? sets of data. Okay? So, both sets of data. Hindi lamang isang set ng data. Now, yung if you are going to look at letter D, this is only talking about set A. Okay? So, set A lang siya, although it is right, no? Na 14 yung kanyang range. And so, ligwak din itong letter D mo. Now, you are just left with A and C, no? So, sabi ng letter A mo, the scores of set B is more spread out than the scores of set A. Again, yung ating pong magiging basis would be the range, no? Highest minus lowest. So, set B mo, highest is 20 minus 4, that's 16. Okay? So, 16 ang range ng set B. Ang inyo, man, ang inyo namang set A, that's 20 minus 6, which would make the range uh, 14, no? So, that means set B is more spread out because its range is higher. And so, it's more spread out than the scores of set A, letter A, ang ating tumpak na choice. Okay? So, letter A for question number 4. Okay? So, letter C po ay liguak, no? Because the scores of set A daw is more spread out. 20 minus 6 is only 14. Mas mataas itong 20 minus 4, which is 16. Okay? So, letter A for question number 4. We move on with question number 5. Teacher Gerald gave a 50-item test where the mean performance of the class is 35 with a standard deviation of 7. Ace got a score of 41. What description rating should teacher Gerald give to Ace? Letter A, poor. Letter B, above average. Letter C, average. Or letter D, outstanding. What is our choice for question five? Okay, number five. Yeah, hey, Liguac. Tama po yan, Ma Michelle. Okay, number five, ICBs. Okay, so going back to question number 5 dito, no? so sabi ng number 5 mo, nagbigay siya ng 50 item test, yung mean performance is 35. Again, when you say mean, that's the average. Okay, so uh, that means karamihan sa inyong mga nakakuha or um, karamihan sa inyong mga estudyante nakakuha ng average no? or yung ng score na 35. That's the average, that's the score no? na nakuha ng, ng inyong estudyante, the average, that's the mean. And the standard deviation is 7. So that means spread apart ang scores niya. No? May, merong mga sobrang taas. So maybe 49, maybe 48. Pero hindi naman sobrang mabababa because your standard deviation is high. The standard deviation is 7. Now, Ace got a score of 41. What description can you use for the performance of, of Ace? The correct choice, of course, would be letter B, above average. Okay? That's just above average. Your average is 35. Yung score ni Ace is only 41. No? So you cannot say that it's poor. You cannot say, of course, that it's average because average is just 35. Now, between above average and outstanding, of course, you cannot choose outstanding kasi uh, very high yung standard deviation mo. That means merong yung mga outstanding mo would be very high, very near uh, the perfect score of 50. Maaring 49, 48 siguro yung score ni Ace dapat para maging outstanding yung ating rating. Okay, and so the correct choice here would be letter B above average. Okay, so letter B above average for question five. We go to question number six. Teachers are required to make an individual plan for professional development or IPPD. This is based on the philosophy that a teacher is a lifelong learner. The NCBTS provides the steps for blank assessment in making the IPPD, letter A, peer, letter B, collegial, letter C, need, or letter D, self. Okay, what is our choice for number six? Okay, number six, I see a lot of letter Ds. Tama kaya ang letter D for number six. Okay, number six, letter D, sabi ni Ma'am Isa Marie Martin. Ganun din sabi ni Sir Jehu Salazar. 
Okay, so sabi dito, no, IPPD, Individual Plan for Professional Development. And of course, uh, the correct choice here would be letter D, that's the self. Okay, so meron ko na mga hints dito, individual, okay? Um, philosophy that the teacher is a lifelong learner, okay? So this would be self-assessment. Now, as you can see, no, yung letter A at letter B mo, parehas lang po yan, peer and collegial. When you say uh, peer, no, these are people of the same rank and the same status or sometimes the same uh, age as you are. No? So collegial, ganun din naman, your colleague. Uh, need, you can say steps for need assessment in making the IPPD self-assessment is what we are looking for. Okay, so keyword is individuals. Tama po yan, Ma'am Ruthel Torre. Okay, so letter uh, D for question number six. Now, let's take a look at your NCBTS, no? Yung seven domains ng inyong NCBTS bago tayo pumunta sa ating uh, next slide. Now, remember the domains of your NCBTS, yun yung competency-based na, na standards ang ating mga teachers. The first and the seventh domain dito would be considered as teacher as a learner. Sabi ng domain one mo, social regard for learning. Sa social regard for learning, naintindihan natin mga guro na yung society can influence our our uh, students na may influensya yung ating society sa ating mga estudyante at kung paano sila matuto. Yung domain 7 mo is for personal and professional growth. Gaya nga ng sinabi natin kanina, the teacher as a learner, the teacher uh, should assess himself or herself, no? the teacher is a lifelong learner. Okay? So dapat meron kayong, kayong personal professional growth, very common question sa let. Kahit na matagal ka nang nagtuturo, hindi ka po pwedeng hindi mag, uh, mag-training, no? hindi mag-seminar. Dapat continuous yung ating improvement, not just professionally, but also personally. No? So personal and professional growth. Hindi po pwedeng stagnant yung mga teachers natin. Alright, now you have domains, your domains 2 and uh, 6, no? As teacher, as facilitator of learning. Facilitator of learning naman yung ating uh, guro sa domains 2 and domain 6. Sabi ng domain 2 mo, the learning environment. Very important that we know how to manage our classroom. Classroom management yung pinag-uusapan dito. No? So paano ko manage yung ating classroom para the students would feel safe and that the classroom becomes conducive for learning. That's the learning environment. Domain number 6 naman, on the other hand, would be community linkages. Okay, so community linkages na yung links mo in your community. Hindi po pwede na yung teacher is aloof, no? Hindi ka po pwede very quiet ka, hindi ka nakikihalubilo sa iba, suplada si ma'am, no? Hindi po po pwede as a teacher, you are a model, no? So you should be able to link with your community. Now, you also have your contextualization then dito sa inyong domain 2 and domain 6. So that means, dapat alam mo yung konteksto ng inyong isudyante. Dapat alam mo kung ano yung mga experiences ng inyong mga isudyante para ma-adjust ma mo yung inyong learning environment so that the students would learn better. No? Alam mo yung konteksto, yung ano yung mga experiences, ano yung alam ng inyong mga isudyante. And of course, you have domains 3, 4, and 5. Dito naman, uh, this is for knowledge and skills for facilitating learning now your hots here would the, the development of your higher order thinking skills would belong to domain number four that's the curriculum now everything that the students would have to learn is included in your curriculum okay now domain number three the diversity of learners dapat alam mo kung paano mo tuturuan yung mga estudyante mo, skills mo for facilitating learning. We only, or we do not have only one type of intelligence. Sabi nga ni Howard Gardner, iba-iba ang klase ng estudyante, iba-iba yung learning styles, iba-iba yung talent ng estudyante mo. And so you should understand that. Not only the students, uh, students' talents, no? Pero ganun din yung kanilang background, socio-economic background. Meron kang mga estudyante na medyo nakakaluwag-luwag sa buhay. Meron din namang medyo um, struggling, okay? So diversity of learners. Merong Muslim, meron ng, mayroon namang Kristiyano, uh, merong uh, masayahing estudyante, meron din namang medyo bugnutin ka mga estudyante.
And of course, the last, no, hindi pa natin discuss would be domain five, planning, assessing, and reporting. So this this one also very important as a teacher. No, lesson plan pa lang, importante na. Then of course, you have your assessment and you should be able to report the results of your assessment, not only to your higher ups, not only to your principal, but of course, also to the parents. No? So kasama na din yung community linkages mo. Okay? And so the correct choice again there was... Um, need uh, self-assessment now going to the next slide ito po yung sabi personal growth and professional development you should be able to of course grow not just stagnant to improve yourself at sabi dito no you should reflect on the quality of your own teaching you should receive favorable rating from your students accept personal accountability use self-evaluation so self uh, assessment ang ating hinahanap for this item. Okay? So, number six, self-assessment letter D, ang ating tumpak na choice. We go to question number seven. Which of the following is two-dimensional and is typically hung on the wall? Letter A, model. Letter B, realia. Letter C, flashcards. Or letter D, map. Okay, what is our choice? Number seven. Again, paki, um, paki share po ng ating video. Share po ng ating video. Para mas marami pa po tayong matulungan, mas marami pa pong makakita ng ating uh, video. No? Of course, if you are still not a member of Team Brunner, napuputol po yung ating video sa ating page at sa ating YouTube channel. And so, please do become a member. Send a message to our Facebook page. And you can also join our Majorship Discussions. Mag-send din po a message sa ating Facebook page. Okay. D, ang karamihang choice ninyo. Okay, letter D map. Sabi dito, two-dimensional. So that means meron lamang siyang length and width. Okay, wala po siyang depth. Okay, wala siyang depth. Uh, it only would have your length and width. It is two-dimensional. Wala po siyang depth. Okay, and it's typically hung on the wall. Sinasabit. Okay, sinasabit po sa ating wall. No? So is it letter A model, letter B realia, letter C flashcards, or letter D map, the correct choice is letter D map, mapa, no? So it only is two-dimensional length and width alone. Uh, wala po siyang kapal, no? Wala siyang depth. And of course, um, your map is hung on the wall. Sinasabit po sa ating uh, wall, no? Sa ating dingding. Your model, this is a general term. Yung map is also an example of a model. But your models kasi can be three-dimensional, hindi lamang two-dimensional, like your globe, no? So model din siya ng mundo. Yung map is a 2D model of your, of your, of the earth while your globe is a 3D model of the earth. Yung mga mock-up mo, no? when you say mock-up, it's a model within the model. No? So, po, pwede mo siyang alisin, meron siyang mga detachable parts. So, that's, um, that's, that's a mock-up. No? So, model din naman siya. And so, hindi natin po pwede consider yung letter A because this is a general term. Your letter B, realia, ito po yung ating real-life objects. For example, yung coins, no? Nung, uh, Kakabalik pa lang namin galing South Korea. Napakaganda, no? Sana all. Sana lahat ng bansa ganun. And uh, we have some realia like their coins, their um, their bills, no? real life objects, your specimens sa inyong library. Uh, sorry, not the library, sa inyong science lab, no? So realia din po siya yung mga uniforms during the World War II, for example. Okay? So realia po yun. And so yung realia mo cannot be two-dimensional, no? So hindi po siya two-dimensional. It has length, it has width, and of course it has depth, no? So meron siyang depth. Uh, 3D siya, no? So, 3D. Hindi siya 2D at hindi siya, of course, sinasabit, no? Usually, nakadisplay siya. Nakadisplay sa glass or nakadisplay sa mga garapon, okay? Now, um, yung flashcards mo naman, of course, hindi siya na... Po, pwede ihang sa wall, no? But uh, usually, yung gamit natin sa flashcards is hinahawakan at flash okay? So, flash mo siya, nililipat-lipat, at ginagamit siya sa drills ng ating isudyante, okay? So, number seven, letter D, ang tumpak na choice, okay? We move on with question number eight. Which of the following is the most effective tool for journal writing on the internet? Would it be letter A, Instagram, letter B, Microsoft Outlook, letter C, blog, or letter D, Spotify? Okay, what is our choice? Medyo lamang dito yung mga techie, yung mga medyo dinosaur, no? Hello sa lahat ng members ng Team Thunders. Uh, medyo hirap dito kapag hindi ka abreast with 
uh, technology. No? So dapat alam natin lahat ng items, lahat ng choices na meron tayo dito. Okay, I see a lot of letter C's. Uh -huh. And letter C is tumpak. No? So journal writing, that's your blog. No? So blog po, nauso ito prior to the vlogs. No? So vlogs ngayon, video, blog na, kumbaga, no? blog dati, para siyang diary mo, para siyang journal entry, tinatype mo siya at ina-upload. No? So meron tayong mga uh, celebrities na nagkaroon ng blog before. Uh, yung inyong um, Wattpad, no? it's also a type of, po pwedeng blog mo na sa Wattpad din. Okay, so blog po yung ating hinahanap. Instagram, that's for pictures. No? So that's right. Microsoft Outlook para po siya sa uh, organization ng inyong mga events, organization ng inyong emails. No? So to keep you organized, that would be your Microsoft Outlook. And Spotify naman, that's for music. Okay, so music naman yung Spotify. And so letter C, blog yung ating hinahanap. We go to number nine. The lesson is on the pros and cons of capital punishment. Mr. Milan wants to do high-level thinking and to develop a view of capital punishment from different perspectives. Which technique will be most appropriate? Would it be letter A, role-playing, letter B, simulation, letter C, lecture, or letter D, panel discussion? What is the choice for number nine? Ayon, isa pang blog na WordPress. Tama po yan, Mam Jezebel Lequilio. Okay, so sabi ni Mam Tinta Mayo, blog is written, vlog is video. Okay, tama po yan. Okay, I see a lot of letter Ds for question number 9. And of course, that is tumpak na yung pinaka-hint mo dito would be from different perspectives. Iba-iba yung paniniwala, iba-iba yung ideya. And so this would mean that you'll have people coming from different walks of life. No? Iba-iba yung kanilang expertise. And so you need a panel. No? So panel no? composed of different people from different walks of life, several people. No? So panel discussion is what we are looking for. Your role Role playing. This is just a skit. Simulation is when you try to do um, to to uh, copy you no know, real life activities. For example, if you want to become a pilot, you have your simulation of so sasakay ka muna sa parang uh, plane din kung saan makakapag-train ka. No? Simulation lamang siya. Lecture, of course, this is just talking Q&A. No? Minsan nga wala pang Q&A. Nagtutok lang si, si, um, si professor. Okay? And so letter D, panel discussion is tumpak for number 9. We go to number 10, the improvement of basic education should be the top priority of the Philippine government. Defend or refute this position. Under what type of question does this item fall? Letter A, convergent. Letter B, evaluative. Letter C, low level. Or letter D, analysis. What is our choice? Number 10. Okay, number 10. Again, share po ng ating video. And again, uh, magpa-member po sa Team Brunner. No? Baka kayo ay naghihintay pa. Sabi nyo, hindi pa naman nagpa-file. No? Uh, Mahaba-haba pa yung uh, in inyong time. But of course, napakabilis po ng oras. As early as you can, no? dapat magpa-member na po kayo. Mas maigi po, mas maagap kayo mag-member uh, para dire-diretsyo yung inyong pagre-review at huwag po tayong magka-cramming. Okay? So, yung iba... Uh, naghihintay lamang for several several weeks na lang to go before the test na minsan hindi kakayanin kasi napakarami po ng information na kaya na, dapat nating na-absorb, dapat nating na-internalize para very smooth yung pag-take natin ng let. Okay, number 10, ICBs. Okay, so sabi dito, um, there is a statement. Sabi ng statement mo, the improvement of basic education should be the top priority. Should you defend or should you refute this position? So under what type of question does this item fall? The correct choice here would be letter B, evaluative. No, So evaluative po. Again, when you say convergent, you only have one answer for a question. So one answer, for example, in which planet do we live? Okay, your answer would be the Earth. No, So as opposed to divergent, pag divergent naman, open-ended yung inyong question na iba-iba yung inyong magiging sagot. Low level, this would be your knowledge level lamang na questions. No? So, uh, 
um, naming, identifying, okay? So, listing, those are low-level questions. Analysis naman, you break down the whole into its parts, okay? So, hinihimay-himay mo, that's for analysis, okay? So, letter B, evaluative po yung ating hinahanap. If you can remember Bloom's Taxonomy, now this is the new, ver new version, you have remembered, this is knowledge sa old version natin, or recall facts, no? So, define, duplicate, list, memorize. Ito yung pinakamababa. Uh, understand is when you can already classify, you can describe, you can discuss using your own words, okay? So using your own words ito. Your apply, you can already execute, implement, solve, okay? So you can apply whatever you've learned into um, a new situation, new similar situation. Okay, then you also have analyze. Now, sabi ng analyze you can draw connections among ideas, differentiate, organize, you relate, no? You so hinihimay himay mo nga kapag ka analysis. Evaluate, ito yung ating hinahanap kanina, you appraise, you argue, you defend, judge. Okay? So, kaya uh, evaluate yung ating tumpak na choice kanina. Of course, create na yung highest level dito. This is to design, assemble, construct, no? You make something new out of the different parts, okay? So, again, letter letter uh, D, no? Uh, no, sorry, letter B, evaluative. Evaluate ang ating tumpak na choice. We go to number 11, to nurture creativity of learners. The teacher should be blank, letter A. An all-powerful authority, letter B, a repository of knowledge with the right answer. Letter C, single-minded, letter D, flexible in terms of time, pace, materials, and techniques. Okay, what is our choice? Maraming salamat for your positive feedback, Sir Adam Troy. Okay, sabi ni Sir Adam, ah, uh, okay. Ang nag-review center na rin po ako dati sa psychometrician board exam. Iba po sa Gurong Pinoy, mas madali pong mag-gets ang concept. Looking forward to have my second professional license. Okay, so uh, license, psychometrician na pala si Sir Adam, no? But of course meron pa tayong pinaghahandaan, which is the left. Kayang-kaya po yan. Alright, number 11, I see a lot of letter Ds. Tumpa kaya ang letter D for number 11? Okay, we will find out. 